we are getting reports of unrest all over Lothal. There are whispers from Mustafar. Some people see the empire as weak. Vulnerable. Not to worry. Agent Kalus. The emperor has sent an alternative solution. Alexander Kalus and Wilhuff Tarkin this aggressive dislocation of persons and high tax rate eventually led to the development of a small and localized, albeit serious upheaval in 5 BBY against imperial authority on Lothal. Although the other separate insurgencies across the imperial territories was of little consequence, the emperor did foresee a new threat rising against the empire, the children of the force. But the empire overall did not fear that the various rebel cells could unite and form a more potent menace against the empire and its interests in the outer rim. Imperial military command maintained a list of known rebel sympathizers on several outer rim worlds, including Lothal, but most of them were not arrested due to their having powerful allies in the Senate a known hotbed of corruption and decadence. Among these cells on Lothal were the Spectres, who manned the ghost. When rumor of the discovery of Jarrus's Jedi identity and his duty on leading the Spectres began to emerge, the Empire sent the Grand Inquisitor to track him down. The Jedi survivor was to be taken to Darth Vader's fortress on Mustafar, yet in 4 BBY, in a daring battle over Mustafar that marked the first major rebel victory in the Galactic Civil War. The ghost crew rescued Jarrus and joined with a growing rebellion. The rebels, commanded by Ahsoka Tano, were part of a larger rebel movement across the entire galaxy which included several cells, led by Tano and Imperial Senator Bail Organa, and purposely kept in darkness about the existence of one another to prevent information leaks and Imperial crackdowns. Following rumors of an Imperial defeat over Mustafar, spontaneous riots and unrest on several Imperial worlds occurred. The size of the rebellion had also caused concern in the high ranks of the Empire. With the Grand Inquisitor's death, the Emperor sent his loyal enforcer, Darth Vader, to quash the threat to the Empire's reign. Following the events on Mustafar, Lord Vader imposed a complete lockdown and blockade of the planet as a disillusioned Minister Tua contacted the Spectres to defect to the rebellion, with ISB agent Alexander Kalus using this to lure the rebels back to Lothal and to capture them, but Tua was killed during the escape attempt. This prompted Kalus to frame the rebels for her murder and send Imperial forces to search for them. The rebels evaded arrest by hiding in the Imperial complex only to be met by Darth Vader and a duel. However, the rebels managed to escape in a stolen shuttle. Vader then ordered Kalus to raise Lothal Resettlement Camp 43, known as Tarkentown, to punish the locals for accepting help from the rebels. After breaking the Imperial blockade, Vader attacked the Phoenix cell fleet that had been sent from the Organa Tano alliance of rebel cells, who had come to the aid of the Spectres and inflicted high casualties on it, forcing both rebel cells to retreat into hyperspace. With this, the Empire's operations had been a success and while remaining a threat to the Empire even after pushing the rebels off-world, order had nevertheless been restored on the vital world of Lothal and caused a major setback to the rebellion.